to make now See the light at the end of the tunnel It's right there now just look up and follow Take one step at a time babe I'm with you All the way Baby get up No don't just stay down And lift yourself up Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to HB Ministries, a ministry for you to believe, behold, and become all God's created you to be in whatever season of life. I am Heather Baxter. I am your teacher and your friend. And today we are starting the day one of the Discover Yourself series. So, what we're going to do first before we dive into this series, because I'm super excited, is just do a little bit of housekeeping so everybody's kind of on the same page. First of all, when I launched this event, I launched it within the ministry. Uh, we do a lot of launching in the ministry. There's always something new going on here all year round. I try to teach things seasonally and with the season, and I try to mix things up a lot. But one thing that I'm noticing is that at this time of the year, we are all kind of getting in the mode of, oh my goodness, season, holidays, new year, resolutions, and it like just kind of jumps in our lap on 2025. On January 1st, it's like, oh my goodness, it's 2025, right? So what I want to do is I want to take 30 days, and I think I'm going to start doing this every single year. I want to take 30 days, create a theme. So this year, the series is Discovering Yourself. And that theme for 30 days is going to help you also understand the Dream and Explore workbook that is launched here every single new year. Every new year, a new book comes out. So for those that are here, we had the new me in 2023, Dream and Explore in 2024. And this book, for those that are new, is broken down in quarters. HB, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. In every single one of those quarters, we have Bible studies, we have seasonal fun things. It's like we stay together and we fellowship, amen, through the year. This is about you. This is your personal journey with God. This is where you experience God. And a lot of people will say to me, a lot of women will say to me in coaching calls or just being in ministry for 25 years, serving in the church, now being on an online ministry, meeting thousands of women all over the world, there's one question. Can you really experience God? How do you hear God? Where do you know God is at work? How can you experience God in your marriage? How can you experience God in your career? How do you know he's answering your prayer? How do you know he's moving in your life? How do you know he's real? And the list goes on. So every year I want to create a series to help you understand your personal path. Now, the title could change. This year it's Discover Yourself series. There are some foundational tools that I have discovered, that I have implemented in my life and I use every single year. I also have a rhythm and routine. If you're around, you know when January 1st comes, I'm gonna take you and set up your rhythm and the routine for the year. So all of January, we'll be getting in our 2025 notebooks. So don't be worried, oh, I don't have that notebook, it's fine. For today, for today, housekeeping, all you need, first of all, if you're new, is a piece of paper and just start listening. Just start discovering where God is leading you here. Just, just sit, relax, and grab a pen and paper. If you have the 2024 Dream and Explore workbook, you've been here, you've been part of the ministry, and you may say, wow, my goodness, I did it in quarter one, but not quarter two and three or four. That's okay, pick up quarter four. Go on this series. This series could be for you. This series could, God could use one thing in the 30 days that helps you understand more 
of why this is important. It takes time to create a sustained pattern, a sustained destiny, a sustained direction. We have to learn, we have to be teachable, and we have to be committed, which are the three things I'm really gonna ask of you today by the end of today's video. Will you be committed? Will you be teachable? And will you just show up for 30 days? If you can lock into that, this lock-in series that I developed and I shared across all of my social platforms, which was called the lock-in, I originally had it for one day. And I got thinking, which boy, when you start thinking, sometimes the vision can change a little. There is no way I can get all this information out in an hour and a half lock-in event. So I took that lock-in event and everybody that locked in, there was over, I think we ended up with over 300 women and now we are at all of the women that downloaded this uh, booklet, we are well over a thousand. So God is good and it is my free gift to you. The downloadable booklet and everything on my website is free. We'll get to that in a second. But what I wanted to share was I wanted to invest in you for 30 days. I want that to be my gift to you. This is my passion, this is my calling. So I absolutely get super excited at this time of the year because this is the time of the year that uh, we're closing out 2024, we're really gonna look over things, and me especially, I'll be ripping down that old vision board, looking at what happened, what didn't, review, reflection, all of that, and I get to do that with you as we step into January 1st. So I wanted to get you excited before that and I thought what a better way than taking that lock-in event and making a commitment for 30 days let's lock in for 30 days so many of you noticed a transition in the way that that event was handled well we learn as we grow right it it's it's actually you're getting more right you're getting more than a one day hour and a half event I went ahead and launched, if you wanna see the introductory video, if you're interested in sharing this with somebody, you can go ahead and grab the introductory video that tells you about the 30-day lock-in, tells you about the handouts, everything, and how it's going to take place, and where the YouTube playlist is at, and where all my social media platforms are at. So that's really for people that are just stepping into the ministry. I highly recommend that you watch that first video in this playlist. For today, we are gonna kick off in a minute and we are gonna talk about day one in our series, but I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of the lay of the land, what has been happening. So that is what we'll do. We'll talk about this book because every single day, a verse that you're gonna hear, a promise, a command, is going to line up with what God is doing in your personal path, which is today's theme, personal path. And so you will see me talking about this book and then, of course, the free handout, if you go to heatherbaxter.com, there is a free handout, which is called The Journey Ahead. It's going to be a dream to have this in a book, maybe for next year's series, but this handout will have all 30 days inside of it. There's a little writing in the handout, and then today is our first personal path and there is a reflection sheet. So I can stick this right here. Here you see the personal path and this is the reflection sheet for those that do not have the workbook yet. The workbook is free. Please head over to heatherbaxter.com. You'll see in the top of my pages on my website where it says lock-in event, I believe is what it says. Click that and you'll come right there where it'll say download your free journal. You can download it. I personally decided, which you will see in the intro video, I am gluing mine in the Dream and Explore workbook. You may wanna create your own journal, your own binder, or I love when people go over to Walmart or the dollar store and you can grab some of those free uh, notebooks and you can glue each page in and then have some extra spaced lines if you wanna you know, have a to-do list, draw, you know, write some things down, things you need, whatever it is, lists, right? I love lists, I love sidebar lists, I'm all about lists. We are gonna grow together. This is the series, Discover Yourself. So let's jump in. If you have any other questions, leave a comment below or email me at heatherbaxter.com. Uh, again, you can find a contact link on my website. I'll help you get connected. 
I will help you get connected. Let's jump in to today's series and let's commit together, let's grow together, and let's break down 30 promises from God that will help us discover ourselves better, amen? But in order to discover yourself better, you have to commit for the 30 days. You have to commit to discover a truth every single day and just reflect on it. He has something that he wants you to personally recognize in your life. Let's jump in. So the first verse was personal path, and it came from Isaiah 26, 3, which reads, you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. So people that experience perfect peace. Now, is there perfect peace? I don't believe there's perfect peace, but there's peace that surpasses all understanding. There is a deeper spiritual peace in the midst of anything that's out of balance on your life wheel. Now, you're going to hear me say life wheel a lot. And life wheel is in your journal. As a matter of fact, we reset our life wheels every single quarter. I just took a look and rebalanced my life wheel, wrote some things down, and I'm sure that one of these 30 verses is going to help you gain perspective on how to view your life wheel and how to maybe write a new vision or a new goal. So as we look at this, it's saying that those who mind, those whose minds are on the word of God and steadfast, which means rhythm and routine, those that trust in God are going to have some peace. Did I have some peace throughout 2024? Absolutely. Even in the storms, there was a level of peace. And that's what I want for you. I want you to discover how to find that level of peace. In your little devotional here, it says each of us has a unique path to follow, carved out by God. That is what the Bible tells us. That is what we need to believe. When we see our path as different, less than, or not what we had in mind, we hide ourselves away, forcing ourselves into self-denial. God didn't create us to hide in disbelief. And then you'll see that there's another verse here, which I call cross-reference. God always has other verses in the Bible that discuss the topic that we're talking about, cross-reference. And so another verse that you were asked to look up was Jeremiah 1, 4 through 5. Then the word of the Lord came to me, key verse there, came to me before I formed you in the womb. I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nation. What I love about this is when we talk about personal path, God has already set you apart, anointed you, placed favor on you, and has a calling on your life. When you really look at this and you really discover this moment and you really realize that God wants to speak to you daily to accomplish his will for your life, just as this verse said, Just as this verse said in the beginning, then the word of the Lord came to me. Jeremiah, then the word came to Jeremiah. Then the word came to Heather. Then the word came to Angela. Then the word came to Julia. So the word will come to you, but but how? How do you experience God? Let's go back up to the first. And to understand your personal path, you've got to keep your mind steadfast on his word and trust in him. And sometimes in our world, it's hard to trust. The world gets chaotic, but who wants to develop chaos in your life? The enemy. He wants to ke- he wants to create worry, fear. And if he can do that, then he's pulled you away from finding your personal path that God has created for you. And that's ultimately what he wants to destroy. So I am challenging you to look over your life wheel today. Again, here's a picture of a life wheel. This is found in every single quarter, and we review our life will, each area of our life will, career, finances, uh, relationships, marriage, uh, each child, your physical, your mental well-being, your health. Each one of them has a path, and God has a personal path, and he wants to speak, anoint, and separate us for what he's doing. And sometimes we go through the good things in life, And sometimes we go through the valleys and God is there. When we stay connected with God, 
really God's waiting to spill the beans. I love that phrase, spill the beans. He has something to spill in the area of your career, spill in the area of decisions that you're making. And he begins to spill the beans and you begin to recognize him in those areas, those paths. And that is what you want to recognize. You want to see him appear in your life. First place to start is will you be committed? And will you be teachable? And will you show up for 30 days? It's easy to sign up for something, right? Ladies will sign up for four week classes, get into two pages. I'm busy. And I get it, life is busy, but I want you to know the enemy tries to keep you busy. If he can keep you from distracted from showing up and being steadfast and trusting in God, then he wins because he detaches God from your path. And therefore, you still love God. You still go to church on Sunday, but you miss the recognizable moments that God had prepared for you. Monday through Friday. And it's his word and him seeing that you're seeking him that creates the energy and the anointing in this path. That's what I want you to recognize. It'll make you a wiser wife, a wiser parent. It'll encourage you. It will help you in your self-discovery for whatever season of life that you are in. Commit with me and we're going to watch God change things up as we discover ourselves in the next 30 days. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed day one. Don't forget to take some time on your reflection sheets. There was a lot of areas there to kind of jot down, brain dump. I spent some great time. I already did my gratitude list, wrote out a prayer to God in one specific area of my life wheel. And then if you have your dream and explore workbook and this verse spoke to you about understanding an area maybe where you're not steadfast you're not trusting and therefore that's why the worry is coming out maybe go back to that part of your life will where you have some space to dream about and jot a few things down and remember this as you get ready to launch 2025 these are some foundational promises that will help you remain steadfast in the dreams and visions that you wrote down Ah. <clears throat>